it's Paul Wonford here, founder of Extra Life, just bringing you a, another video, slightly different this time though. We're gonna bring you a 20 minute one this morning. So I hope you enjoy it. And the same as always with the members, if you get yourself straight on the dashboard and add that to your dashboard. If you're not a member yet, then check us out at xlife.com, Facebook and Instagram and YouTube and uh, get involved. Hope you enjoy it. So all you're gonna do is lie on the floor Palms out and just let the knees drop one way and then over to the other way. Just let them go as far as you want them to. That's absolutely fine. Then you'll feel the stretch running right down this side here when you go that way and right down this side here when you go the other way. And like I said, again, going to do a minute, but if you feel like resting, that's absolutely fine. Making sure your shoulder blades are planted and your breathing's nice and relaxed, which is unlike many people at the moment. Right, we've got 15 seconds left. We've got 10. Nearly there. And then your next one, just Wrap your hands around your knees and just rock. And as you rock backwards, you should feel it in your lower back quite nicely. Don't worry about rocking forwards too far. It's more about that back and opening up the back there. And just keep rocking up and down. You'll feel it a little bit in your stomach, that's just where it's working. Another 20 seconds. Another 10. And then from there, we're just gonna go onto all fours. You're just gonna sit your bum back and then rock forward and arch right up as far as feels comfy. You can squeeze your bum there as well if you want. Just sit back and come through and up to there. Sit back and come through. Sit right back and probably exhale. Breathe out there and back that way and through. Fifteen seconds and then we we'll move on to the next one. Remember, just trying to take deep breaths right down into your stomach at the moment. Really deep breaths. Nearly there. Your next one. I'm going to pop up into this position here. This arm goes through the gap over there, and then you rotate that way. You come back through, and you rotate up. What you're trying to do, as you come this way, is stack your shoulders on top of each other, so there's a straight line all the way up to there. You go back through. I'm gonna stay on this leg for a minute. Rest if you need to, though. It's quite intense in the legs, this one. That's halfway. We've got 20 seconds left. Just keep that nice rotation. we got 10 seconds. And then I'm gonna face the other way. Swap the legs over. So here, this hand goes through that way. And then we rotate round. That way. Same principle though, enjoying the stretch and trying to feel the stretch running right up through the chest as you open up to there. And also feel free to ignore my chatter and whack on some music of your own by all means. I won't be offended. That's halfway. <laughs> 
20 seconds. So just feed that way and rotate up. 10 seconds. And then you're gonna sit on your shins to the start of the next one. So from there, as I said, sit on your shins. So your bum's on your shins. Then all you're gonna do is come up. So there, I just said your bum on your shins. I meant your bum on your heels. Shins on the floor. And really squeeze the bum as you come up here. Tighten here as much as you can. Sit down. <coughs> come up. Halfway. Make yourself as tall as you can. Right up nice and high. 20 seconds. Ten seconds. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, next one, all fours. Feed this arm through the gap there. Come up, go the other way. What you're trying to do is stretch your shoulder blades as much as you can. So here, you should feel it right into your shoulder blades. Come up, <clears throat> rotate. And just enjoy your shoulder blades coming apart and stretching nicely. We're past halfway. You've got 15 seconds. Ten. This should feel quite nice. Next one. One knee on the floor. You're going to push into this knee and you should feel a stretch running down the front of the back leg. And then all we're going to do is rotate around that way as far as your body can go. Obviously, don't go any further than your body can go. That will be painful and back to the centre. So you might only go to there and feel a big stretch. Back to the centre each time and rotate around. Keeping that forward to stretch out the back thigh. We've got 20 seconds left. And then I swap the legs over. We got 10 seconds. Swap the legs, this knee down, push into this one, hands forward and rotate round. And you'll probably find you can go further one way than the other. That's perfectly normal, don't worry about it. Exhale as well, as you go that way. <sighs> Empty the lungs, come back. So, rotate and exhale. Rotate. We've got 15 seconds left. And the next one, we're gonna be in the start of like a downward dog position, if that means anything to some of you. So last one there, and you're gonna pop into this position. Just watch what's going on with my feet. That's the main thing. I'm up on my toes and just pushing one foot away, one foot away. And you should feel that running into the calf, hamstring, maybe into the bum as well. And just keep pushing. If you don't feel it much, creep your feet in a bit further and create more of a V in the body. And you just keep pushing. And you should feel that, like I said, right down the back of the legs. That's just over halfway. And then we've got one more to go. 
and then you should feel quite nicely stretched out. We've got 15 left. 10. This last one, lovely coming up. So you just drop down and then all you're gonna do is just push up, only go up as far as you can again. So you might find that that's enough. Or you might wanna go right the way up, entirely up to you. But just push up, come back down. But only go in that range that feels comfy, you don't make it feel uncomfortable. And if your shoulders are like mine, you'll hear them creaking. Past halfway. Fifteen left. Ten. Stand up carefully, you might get a bit of a head rush. And there's 10 minutes, so we're halfway through. So take a little breather before we kick into the second half of the video. Lying down on the floor. Palms up, all downs up to you. Just want you to squeeze up. Squeeze your bum nice and tight as you come up. Squeeze your bum. Come down here. Make sure you spread your weight across your toes, if that makes sense. So you're putting weight into your toes as well as your heels. And just squeeze up and create a triangle from your shoulders to your knees, down to your ankles. Past halfway already. making sure you squeeze these, they're big muscles and they work really well when you get them engaged and fired up. Got 10 more seconds and then we're gonna go into a press up which is quite daunting for a lot of people but I'll show you a, a simple solution to that. So we're gonna pop from there onto all fours. To this position here, and create a triangle from your longest finger up, not massive, and just press and push back up. That just keeps your shoulders in line. So press, push back up. If that feels too easy, then just drop your hips, heels up in the air or feet down, it's up to you. And just press, push back up. Same principle though, nose is far, nice and far forward. Keeps your shoulders in line like I keep saying. That's too tough. Back to all fours. Up and down there. You've got less than 15 seconds left. You've got 10 now. And we're gonna come up into a squat, which I'll do sideways on. Just makes it a bit more obvious for you. So, feet about shoulder width apart. And all we're gonna do is squat down and raise the arms as you do, just to help with the balance. Come back up. Squeeze your bum at the top. Come back down. Squeeze the bum at the top. Trying to get your thighs parallel to the floor. No lower, not down here, just to there. Come back up. Just there. Past halfway on this one. Making sure, stand nice and tall at the top, all the shoulders back. Squat down to parallel, come back up. And then we're going to go after this one into the plank. But again, I'll show you a variation of that. Five seconds. Right, back onto all fours, put on your forearms this time. And then just drop your bum in slightly. You're trying to create another triangle from your knees up to your shoulders and then down to your elbows. Pull your belly button in nice and tight. Squeeze your bum a bit. I'll keep going on about that, it's really important. And just hold. 
And if that feels easy, don't move anything other than your forearms. Just creep them out, but mind your back. And if that makes it too tough, come back in, keeping everything tight. Belly button drawn in, bum tight. And uh, we'll just see the minute out. Right, less than that now. 20 seconds. The next one's quite a nice stretch that we're gonna do in 15 seconds. 10. Five, and then we're gonna bring yourselves up. I'll face the camera. Legs nice and wide. And all we're gonna do is bend one knee, stick your bum back, sit down over there. You'll feel it go right through there. I do massively on this one, particularly tight on both sides. And you might just hurt my hip click as well. That's 20 seconds gone. Like I said, it'll run right down here as you go that way, be on this leg. And obviously, as you go that way, we'll be on this leg. But breathe while you're doing it. And in 20 seconds, we're going to go into a variation of a side plank. So we've got 10 more seconds of feeling this stretch. This time, sideways on. And all we're going to do from this position is pop up. And you'll find it's probably harder than you think it's going to be. Creating another triangle, lots of triangles in this. Elbow, shoulder, tracking down to your knee. And again, you're going to hold that one out. If it feels easy, you can just put a movement in where this arm threads that way. And then comes back up. But you might find that's too much. If it is, don't do it. Past halfway. Keeping that triangle nice and neat. And when you come back to full range up here, the straight line from this hand, straight through my body, straight to the elbow. I'll just hold it out for the last 10 seconds. Right, five now. And then I'm gonna spin around so I'm still facing you guys. Go that way. You pop up, create that triangle. And then, just hold it and you'll feel it. I should have said on the other one. Feel it running down this side more than this side when you're in this position the other way, when you're the other way around. But you can feed through and come back up. Feed through and come back up. Halfway. Now we're gonna go into a lunge next. Um, I'll talk you through all of that. 20 seconds. Reach as far as you can. Come back up. 10. Five. And the lunge, a lot of balance involved in the lunge, so we'll start with a bit of a half lunge. What we're gonna do, stand tall. We need to step out. Bend the back knee slightly. Come back up, step back. I'm putting all the weight into the toes and the foot, the whole foot, really planting it. I bend the knee, I come back up, push back. You're trying to make sure everything has got nice angles to it at 90 degrees. Step back. So if you go too short, your balance goes. If you go too far, you really start to stretch this back leg too much. So it's in 90. Step back, swap. Just step in. If it's too much to go low, don't go low. Just go about there and back up while you're getting used to it. We're nearly there on this one. Yep, next one. Back into the bridge position. I want you to pop up onto your toes this time and put your arms up. We'll squeeze up, come back down, squeeze up. Same principle as the early bridge, but you're on your toes and there's less stabilizing you because your arms are up here now. 
creating that triangle, shoulders, knees, and ankles. Squeeze your bum, halfway already. Really squeeze as tight as you can. 20 seconds. Ten seconds. And then we're gonna go into a variation of a mountain climb. So, up into the top of a full press up position, which might be enough for you anyway, just holding here. What you're gonna try and do though, is just pull a knee in, pull it back. Pull a knee in, put it back. You'll notice as I pull the knee in, my shin is parallel to the floor. That just keeps the rest of the body in line. Shoulders are forward of the hands. Just there. there. And then we've got one more exercise after this. So you've nearly done it. There goes my hip clicking again. Keep it nice and slow and controlled. Working your stomach a lot, this one. Nearly there. And then your next one, from here, I want you to bring one leg around, pop up. Put that back, put that back. Come up, pop. So there, there, and up. And just keep going through. Routine. There. Nearly halfway and nearly done. So knee down, foot up, knee up, knee down, foot back. Just keep swapping. Just keep going with it. Nice big stretch this one and a little bit of work through your thighs. Less than 10 seconds. Well done, 10 minutes nailed by all of you. Top effort. Take care and uh, we'll see you again soon.